So we've got an elk over here who thinks he's joining us for breakfast. Hello. Uh, please excuse my messy hair. I don't feel like fixing it quite yet this morning. But um, I thought today I would do a what I eat in a day video because I haven't done one of those yet. But I really like to watch those, so I thought it'd be fun to make one. Uh, especially while camping. And so, we're starting the morning out with some uh, pancakes. So I just buy this Bisquick pancake mix and we add some almond milk and I combine these two in equal parts and add a little bit of oil and then we're working on mixing it up he's coming closer oh my gosh I'm getting a little scared of him but clearly he's yeah. just hankering for some pancakes isn't that right yep Hello. Got the pan warming up on our camp stove. Just putting a teeny bit of oil on there. Right on there. And uh, it's time to make the pancakes. We're gonna try to make them pretty small because we discovered they kind of fall apart otherwise. Perfect. I made a few pancakes in my day. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it pretty low. It's... Yeah. Uh oh. What? It feels like it's hard. Boom. Not too shabby. Tell them about the problems with the temperature on the camp stove. We have hot or hot. <laughs> Those are the only options. So we need like medium hot for this. So we turn it on and then we turn it off. And this stays about medium hot. <laughs> and that is how you make pancakes on the camp stove, apparently. Whoa. Oh. So we got the pancakes over here. Over here I'm boiling some water to make some tea. I don't have a mug, but I want tea, so. While the pancakes are cooking, I'll show you this little snazzy guy. So I got him as a Christmas present from my mom. Thanks, mom. And it's like a little picnic kit. And so in this front pocket, you have spoons, knives, and forks. And then it comes with like a little salt and pepper shaker, but we don't have anything in them because we bought this little camp guy with all of our spices that we just keep in there. Oh yeah, we keep our knives in there too, but those didn't come with it. And it also comes with a, uh, a corkscrew up here, and the only cups it comes with are like little wine glasses. Which we have yet to use, but um, it's kind of cute. And then it has a cutting board. Yeah. Do the thing again? Sure. And um, the plates go here. And then some napkins. And then, so there's a side pocket, which we don't really use, but I think, to be honest, it kind of looks like that's where you'd put your wine bottle. <laughs> They're really ready for a fancy picnic here. And then in the back pocket, over here, it came with like um, a picnic uh, cloth, what do you call that, a picnic blanket? A picnic blanket in the back, but uh, we took it out. I took it out for the moment because it was kind of sandy from the beach yesterday, but it's like insulated, so we're just keeping our condiments in there and our soap. So we're just making some chai tea. Oh, oh, I can't do this with one hand. There he is. Just let him steep for a little bit. You know what would be so good? Chai tea pancakes. Yeah. Like, what if you made the chai tea and then you, instead of milk, you put chai tea in your pancake mix? Why does it have to be chai tea? Why not just chai? Oh, chai. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I don't know. 
I'm just thinking, you know. These ones got a little burnt. But they're doing a good job holding together today. Here's the final product. We've got pancakes on bottom with peanut butter, strawberries, bananas, and syrup on top. Here's my tea. I just poured it, wait until it cooled down, and poured it into one of our little wine glasses. It's not bad. Alright, so lunch is not looking too pretty, but here it is. We just spent maybe four hours walking around the canyon rim, so it worked up quite an appetite. Got some leftovers from last night, baked beans, onions, veggie dogs. Just gonna eat it with some bread and got our trio of toppings here. And Nick is having a cold can of chili. It's good, it's very pasty. Very pasty, ugh. Ugh. Doesn't look good. So vegan. Uh, and that one has the beans in it and it's still like that. Mm -hmm. Weird. And he's also having some bread. It's quite dense. And that's about all for lunch. Not not too terribly exciting. So my technique for eating this is I just spread ketchup and mustard and the vegan mayo on this slice of bread. And I think I'm just going to kind of pile these guys on there like that and then eat it. I feel like it's much better tastier than it looks. Doesn't look good, but it did taste good. <laughs> That's what they always say. Alright, we're about to make dinner, but currently uh, organizing our food because we are keeping it all in this tub, but a tomato got squashed in there. So we got it all cleaned out. Gonna put it all back in there. But we're planning some Taco Tuesday on a Sunday. We got rice going in this one, lentils going in this one, and then we've got some other ingredients we're gonna throw in there. We got some leftover onion right here. We, the little general store in Grand Canyon is actually quite well stocked with vegan products. We got some chorizo, and then we're gonna have some lettuce, avocado, and tomato tortillas, and that should be it. So we'll keep uh, working on cooking and clean in here. So here's the finished rice ready to go. Just plain white rice. And we got our little bit of lentils that we kept. We put the rest in that Tupperware for later. And some onion. And then we're going to throw the uh, chorizo in there. And over here I got the tomatoes all chopped up ready to go. And they were pretty bad so I chopped up all the ones we had. So hopefully finish them tonight. And I'm also going to chop a little avocado to go with mine. I just got to say, that is a really nice looking avocado. 68 cents too. And only 68 cents, which I thought, yeah, that was pretty good compared to usual. Oh boy. It's already smelling real good, huh? Yeah. Alright, here's our final meat situation. Got lentils, got the tofurkey chorizo and onions. Here's our rice, tomatoes tortilla, lettuce, and my avocado. And so let's start assembling. Um, we'll buy some refried beans to go on there too. Will do this? <laughs> Not necessarily high. <laughs> and there is that final, final wrap. I don't think it's going to close, but we'll do our best. How's yours going so far? How are the first couple bites? 
Tastes wonderful. Good. Here's taco number two. First one was very good. I think Nick just finished his second taco. Very good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and end my what I eat in a day right here because I'm pretty full after those tacos. So I don't think I'm gonna eat anything else tonight. But uh, we're just sitting here enjoying the beautiful sunset over the Grand Canyon and should be a good rest of the night.